Hello and welcome back to the Lowdown, the show that brings you the best of Birmingham and beyond. We're going to be talking canals and we were just before that very, very short break uh, because we want to get your canal boat taste buds tingling. Uh, I asked you, Birmingham Canal Navigations has how many miles of canal for you to travel around? The answer is 100 miles. That's a massive amount and that of course stretches away from Birmingham to, uh, to Wolverhampton and the east of the Black Country as well. Uh, it actually had up to 160 miles in its working peak. So if you do want to go on a canal tour of Birmingham, uh, why not give a go and uh, jump on the boat of Sherborne Wharf, Birmingham? Uh, they'd be happy to have you on board. They took us on board as well and even let me have a go driving their boat. Now, when we're talking about canal boat tours, who better to ask than the, the skipper himself? So, Rory, first of all, um, tell us about the, the boat we've got behind us. Well, this is a boat called Jericho. It's a one-hour uh, trip that goes near the edge of Baston Reservoir. Uh, we do have uh, live commentary and also a CD commentary, so the uh, customers uh, can learn about the history around this area for an hour. So, the history of you guys, how long have you been running these tours around the Birmingham Canals? The company itself has been around about 30 years. Uh, I've been working for the company about 10 years. So, uh, yes, it's been, around, it's been a good season. Now, the canals in Birmingham are massive and they're a big part of kind of Birmingham life and, and kind of where they go to. What do you think it is about canal boat tours that are so popular? I mean, you hear from a lot of people, these are kind of the best way to, to get around and see the city from like a different perspective, really. Yeah, it's mainly just the experience because a lot of people um, don't know there's a lot of canals here in Birmingham, so they live in the city all the time and they've never seen a canal boat before so they might have just jumped on just for the experience really. Some of them enjoy them, never, customers had never had a seasickness once uh, so that's a good sign but uh, yeah, they enjoy themselves. So the route itself, if we're going to be jumping aboard very very soon uh, but what should we look out for? What can we expect to see? Uh, maybe some, some certain landmarks, what do you kind of say to people to kind of keep their eyes peeled for when you are going around? It's mainly the rural history. Uh, our crews will go to two point, points of the canal, the industrial parts of the canal system where James Bringy built the canal system and now the more modern, uh, beautiful more parts uh, of Bringy Place near the mailbox. Uh, so you get to separate it of the old part of the canal system to the new parts. Well there we are, we are very excited to jump aboard, uh, take part in the canal trip and find out a little bit more about Birmingham's rich history. Thank you very much Rory. We have set off. Uh, we're with Rory the Skipper right at the back now. Uh, what amazing weather. I bet you kind of out in uh, all types of weather, but this is certainly uh, one of the nicer days to be out and about, isn't it? Yes, uh, we would much prefer the, uh, the summer weathers, especially also the people as well. When the sun's out like this, a lot of people want to come down and uh, experience uh, the canal boat trips. Uh, I know nothing about canal boats. Had a little look into it, but what is this? I couldn't quite pronounce this terribly well when I was uh, reading up. Well, this is called a tiller bar. Uh, tiller bar is uh, like a, the, the canal boat as well, but it's, uh, it's complete opposite. If you turn the tiller bar to the left-hand side, the boat will turn right. And if you turn the tiller bar to the right, it will turn left because the uh, steering is dead centre. In the, uh, like pivots in the middle, so it's uh, different to compared to a car. So these narrow boats are thin, but they are very, very long. So does that make it tricky to steer, especially around the, the canals of Birmingham? You have got some tight spaces and some some sharp corners, haven't you? Yes, you do. Um, canal boats themselves, uh, it's like a big. If it's very wind conditions, it like, acts like a big sail. So you have to be careful of that, especially when you're near more canal boats. Um, also, uh, can't drive very fast on on these canals. Uh, the top speed of a canal boat is about four miles an hour, or if you go past the uh, more canal boats, they're about one mile an hour because it's tick speed. Now, what is fascinating is how much work goes into looking after the canals. You've got so much going on from the people from the, the Canal River Trust who are out cleaning. Um, is that quite an important thing? Because there is a lot of work, you know, perhaps behind the scenes that people don't really realise. Uh, yeah, um, there's a group called, used to be called the British Waterways, but now they've changed the name to the Canal and River Trust. They're mainly a group of volunteers. Um, they maintain and help the canals to make them more better looking, more cleaner, 
and uh, also make sure that you know they put a, came a long way as well. Also, local council to make the Burm, Burm area much more modern and much more inviting. So it is quite gentle, isn't it? You don't want to be too abrupt. That's got a midship. You got a midship like that, so now we're cruising speed. Right now, with the speed here, it's a good speed to do. So we're not obsessed in the nature. So yeah, so how are you finding it? Yeah, good. I mean, I, I back to the left now. I'm trying to, it's hard to tell because you're so far behind from the front. What it is because the repeller behind me is now pushing a lot of water next to the beam like this. So it's going to be turning like this if you're not pushing against the wave. Yeah, you're doing well. You haven't crashed the boat. Yeah, well, <laughs> not yet. There's plenty of time still to go. I'm actually really enjoying this. And uh, it's really great to be right at the back here. Have no idea what's going on down the front, but knowing you are heading in the right direction, so that's always good. That was really exciting and I was worried because yeah, paying passengers are on board that boat. So thank you so much to the team at Sherbourne Wharf, Birmingham. Of course, so many different fleets of boat that you can go on. Uh, they've obviously got the water taxis as well. Um, so really, really exciting stuff. So thank you so much for having us along. Uh, now though, here's two chaps that